Hello everyone, Relgan here with another CVT game. Yesterday I showed you Hydralisks and why we should not use them against Terran or rather what the problem of the Hydralisks are. Today I'm showing you why Hydralisks are absolutely amazing against Terran and why we all should use them. A little bit of a contradiction but I'll show you the strength of the Hydralisk today. Um, if you are interested in this replay, the replays of all my games, of all my new uploaded videos will always be down here at the, in the description, as well as a link to my Twitch and Twitter if you want to watch me live or just hear what I do or think about the game and other things. Please follow me there. However, let's talk a little bit about this game. I'm going for an early speedling opener, two quick queens. Um, I could go for drops if I continue to mine gas, however this time I'm just going for three quick bases and play and I plan to play out a standard game. The Reaper is a little bit annoying. We already saw this in my other game where I played um, Hydralisks. I'm going for um, three bases and just try to play it out as safe as I can. Scouting a little bit with my links, seeing what is up. I see all these marines, so of course, what could, what, what else could it be? Here come the two medivacs and the 16 marines. Load on up, and we are ready for the 16 marine drop. Karen getting his third base right now. This overlord moved a little bit to the side, so it does not die. I have uh, quite a number of queens at home ready for defending. Notice his drop. Ah. Uh, my queen is a little bit slow right there, so it might get caught, could not land a transfuse in time. Losing three of my queens, very bad trade for me. Already started my plus one plus one, while he has no upgrade started yet. A little bit sleeping in that regard, um, triggering the Widow Mine so it can only kill the bare minimum amount of units. Let me see. Four circlings killed, that's okay. That's a fair trade. Went up to four bases immediately. Just now started my lair. Had to build a spore crawler, spore crawler, excuse me, so I can actually kill the widow mine since I had nothing else to deal with the widow mine. The mine probably going to land another shot right on that ling. Bring the spore crawler a little bit closer. Now it's just one one started. The first base is on the way. And we are making our way towards the Hydralisks. Now, take it, bringing out the Hydralisks always takes a long time. I'm on 57 drones right now. I do not really mind too much gas. I mostly focus on minerals. Mineral income, I'm way ahead. Gas, we, well, we had it depends when the mules bring home the minerals, I guess. These two uh, widow mines also took care of a couple of my links, and I'm trying to go for an immediate counter. Try and do a little bit of damage. Um, yes, Hellions, which fare decently well against Lings. Using a very Ling heavy style, no Banelings thus far at all. Only once my lair is actually done, or I should have started it a little bit sooner, but now I'm starting my Baneling Nest and the Roachworn. Once again, not really planning on using the Roachworn, it's just kind of a habit for me to build that. I'm building the Hydralisk then as well, getting my should get some additional gases going up to 4 right now. I want like 6 gases. I'm dealing with these attacks mostly with Ling Queen. Doing fairly well. I would like a couple more queens. The Spore Crawler also helps out a little bit. It's kind of push pushing me a little bit too deep right now. I also have this gold base set up. Those Widow Mines killing a couple of my units but he cannot push through since I have Five hatcheries worth of larva just to produce links. Now once I feel pretty safe, I'm building additional additional queens because queens are pretty good units as we all know. I'm using a mostly queen ling hydra composition. If you have watched me in the past, um, you might know this composition. I talked about it in my earlier queen hydra lurker videos. Right here is kind of pushing through me. But my reinforcements will help me clean everything up yet again. Uh, I was not in. Uh, my hydralists were not in position, and my queens kind of took a lot of damage because of that. 
So not the best fights ever. I'm going now for the... Once my baning speed is almost on, I'm morphing in quite a couple of banings. And... Queen Hydra Ling, Bane composition is looking pretty scary for the Terran. Keep in mind, um, this composition uh, goes back a long time in CVT. There were some Zergs who played it in Pro League as well, in Heart of the Swarm, but no, no, no Zerg really builds Hydralisks in Legacy of the Void right now. I forgot my plus two melee upgrade. I'm still fighting with my Ling Hydra Bane Ling. As you can tell, the supply swung heavily in my favor. Uh, my Lurker then, did it start yet? I uh, slept a little bit on the Lurker then as well. Lurkers are really useful. We will have a look at how the Hydralisks fare against these, this bio army. He's now adding in Liberators, but they do need the plus one damage upgrade to actually one shot Hydras, I believe. So I'm just trying to. Uh, Pull him out of position, attack him at multiple fronts, as we will see. The links are kind of throwaway units, so I, I'd like to trade away a couple of my links while keeping the rest of my units alive. Getting his liberators very quickly with my hydralisks is to hide his bio units behind the marauders. Trying to take a fight right here. And you can see the Hydralisks provide me a provide me a steady amount of DPS while my other units fight. So that's where Hydralisks are the strongest, if they can just dish out their insane DPS. Of course having no missile attack upgrades against 2-2 two -two bio is not the best way to play this. I'd rather have some more upgrades. But you can't have everything. And the uh, Ling Hydra Bane just ravages through this Terran as he has to split his units against the bio, against the banelings while the links and hydralisks just clean everything up. And that's when I morph in the lurkers to finish off this game. Would have liked them earlier on, lurkers are pretty good as long as the Terran doesn't have a lot of libera liberators. We'll see how I use them. Some lurkers go up here, ready to burrow, shoot away at those units. He has to go up there to clean them up. At the same time I'm moving down here as well. Throw some of my lurkers here. Clean up his bio. The command center falls rapidly against my hydralisks and this is pretty much it. So I won this game by the use of Queenling Hydra Bane and then added some lurkers. As the queen's moving to fish finish him off as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of Hydralisks actually doing something in a CVT. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.